Hi everybody, it's Miss Carrie from South Fayette Township Library and Bridgeville Public Library. And we're it's time for Healthy and Homemade today. And what we're going to be doing today is, is making uh, melt and pour soap, which is pretty cool. So just letting you know, there are take and make kits available at our libraries if you would like to get them. Um, so you can use them if you would like. All you have to do is register, register for them online. And um, you get two different types of soap molds, the soap base. And if you use this one, you can put like a little tattoo on it, which is pretty cool. And this one has like a little big guy. He's pretty cute. Um, so that's what I'm going to end up doing today. So let's see what you'll need. All right, so now that you know what you'll need, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is take our soap base. You should have four in your kit. Um, and I'm going to take a heat proof um, bowl and I'm going to put it in my microwave. Unfortunately, my microwave handle is broken, so this is going to be a little um, awkward. All right, and then you put it in for 30 seconds and you're going to continuously do that. You're going to put it in for 30 seconds. You're going to stir it up and then you're going to put it back in, stir it up until it's all melted. All right. So once it is fully melted, it should be melted within your bowl. What you're going to do is you're going to take your mold and you're just going to pour it in there. If you have, before you do this, if you have any, um, food coloring or things like that, you can totally use them. Um, you can use them and change the color of your soap. So that's up to you. Once you fill it up, you can also go ahead and put in different colors, which I'm going to do right now. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stir up my, my mold and stir up my color. Just letting you know, it can, um, the color can soak to the bottom or seep to the bottom if you let it. So I'm just gonna mix it all up and just hope for the best. All right, and now my soap is hardened in the mold. So what you just do is, um, is just use the silicone mold and take it out of there. And if you do want to put on your uh, little tattoo, so you take off the protective um, film to do the tattoo, put it on where you would like it. Just uh, put a wet surface onto there. Apply it for a little bit. and then put a little bit of pressure and then we'll come off and we'll have a cool little tattoo. So there's my awesome soap with a cute little bead guy. So um, if you would like to, to do that, you totally can. If not, it's totally fine too. All right, so that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy, awesome soap that you can make at home with um, either of your molds. But I do want to thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you'll join me again next week whenever we make a, um, a banana uh, yogurt hair mask. So you'll actually see me without my hair straightened. It's, it's pretty frizzy and uh, very interesting to see. So, uh, so I hope you'll join me next week to make the banana mask. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and like to our page. And I'll hopefully see you next week. Bye.